Hi, today we'll show you how to quickly and effortlessly create an application that can be monetized. After you follow these simple steps, your application is ready to be published on Google Play. So what are the main steps? Idea, content, and creation of the app itself in Endromo. Let's start with an idea. There are different types of applications, paid, free, with and without in-app purchases, and apps with ads. We'll be working with apps that can be monetized with ads that appear inside the app. Such applications are also called content apps. What are the main types of content you know? Sound, like ringtones, melodies, sounds of nature, graphics, like wallpaper, screensavers, and text, like blogs, recipes, and news. At this stage, it's important to understand for yourself what kind of content you'd like to work with. Let's say you like to cook and want to share your passion with others and make some extra money. Fine, try making an app with recipes. Or you like yoga, for example, and you do it to relax and meditate. Then you'll probably have some interest in creating an app with soothing sounds for relaxation. Maybe your child is interested in computer games and you also know something about games. Super, then make a wallpaper for gamers. And your child can help you choose awesome wallpapers. Okay, let's take wallpaper for gamers as an example. Let's go to Google Play and see what we'll find. Great, let's dive into the first app. Wallpapers for Gamers HD 4K New. It looks nice. As you can see, this application has over 100,000 downloads. Let's see others. Gaming Wallpaper HD FBR. Whoa, 1 million downloads. Let's move on. Wallpapers for Gamers 2020, 500,000 downloads. Wallpapers for Gamers 4K, 1 million downloads. Let's look at one more. Another Wallpapers for Gamers 4K and again 1 million downloads. Since you're going to monetize your apps through in-app ads, downloads play a key role. The more people download your app, the more ads they will see and the more you earn. Having decided on the theme, now we need to come up with a name. The name has a very important role as it will be reflected in the ranking of your application in Google Play as well as in Google search results. We will need a tool for identifying keywords. There are many different tools on the internet, paid and free. You can try any of them. For our video, we will try Kparser. We type in the name of the topic that we have chosen and check for this request results in Google Play. Press start. We press stop and see which main keywords are found in Google Play for our request. Let's now take these keywords and write them down in our notebook. We will have to clean up from unnecessary characters because we are using the free version of Kparser. If you use the paid version, you can immediately import your keywords in CSV format and you won't have to clean up anything by hand. Now, let's select them and copy. We will insert them again into the search field and now we will look for what kind of keywords we'll find in Google for these queries. Push start. Okay, we've got 50 keywords, that's enough. Let's choose 50 here. Now we need to select the most popular queries by Kparser rank. Let's select words with a rank of at least 70 and insert them into our notebook. We got 21 words and we will need to select 10 of them. A little later, I will explain to you why we should only use 10. We remove words that are not as relevant for our application. Now we need to determine the volume of requests for these words. In the free version of Kparser, the volume is hidden, but that's not a problem. I'll show you how you can do it with another tool. For this, we need a Google Keyword Planner. You will need to register with Google Ads to be able to use this tool for free. 
choose discover new keywords. We take our selected keywords and paste them into the planner window. Remember that you have to choose a country you want to target your app because you'll be getting different keyword results for different countries. As you can see, we can use no more than 10 ideas in the keyword planner. Therefore, we have previously selected exactly 10 keywords. Click get results. We sort our search results by average monthly searches. You will see that the request for wallpapers for gamers has the largest monthly volume from 10 to 100,000 requests. At the same time, it has low competition, which means that not many participants are promoting this keyword request using paid advertising. This can be very useful if you want to promote your app with ads in the future. We got wallpapers for gamers and gamers backgrounds, keywords with the highest search volume according to Google Ads. If you create an application with this name and you promote it using best practices, then when this keyword is requested in Google, your application will most likely be at the top of Google's results and you will receive new downloads. I suggest choosing this name for our app. We will be making an application called Wallpapers for Gamers. We did an excellent job with the first part of the assignment, idea. Moving on to part two, content. Now we need to collect content for our application. This is the most enjoyable part of creating the app as well as your creative homework. All you need to do is find good content, maybe edit it, and then design your application. You can search for content in different places. To get started, you can go through Google Images and see what is available for gamers' wallpapers. See how many inspiring pictures there are? You can go to unsplash.com and see how many different pictures on your topic there are. You can also get inspiration from Pinterest. As you can see, there are many different resources for you to find awesome content for your application. This is your personal homework and your creativity. So I've selected content for our application. I think you'll be also be able to do this with no problem. Here's our content. It consists of two parts, app and content. App, these are the icons and screenshots required to upload your application to the Google Play Store. You can also watch a video on how to create the correct screenshots for our application in the Play Store on our YouTube channel and Dromo App Maker. The link to the channel will be in the description under this video. The second folder is the content of our wallpapers for the Gamers app. These are the pictures that I've selected. If we select all these images, then we can see that there are 218 of them. It's very important that they weigh no more than 50 to 70 kilobytes, so that your application is no more than 50 megabytes. Otherwise, it will rank worse in Google Play. Well, let's now move on to creating our beautiful app, creating an application in Andromo. So we are inside Andromo and we need a wallpaper template. Let's go to easy start. For our application, we need the wallpapers template. Choose it and give it a name. Our basic template is ready. If you are a beginner, then you can view the wizard. If you're already an experienced user, then choose skip. This is the main dashboard with the main activities. Since this is a wallpaper app, all the main activities are photo galleries. Each photo gallery has content. Another photo gallery with different content and another one. For our application, we don't need so many galleries. So we will remove some of them and leave, for example, three galleries. Also, let's change the layout of our galleries from grid to card and add title and subtitle descriptions for our activities. Now let's go to the first activity and rename it Wallpapers for Gamers Pack 1.0.
Now let's go to images and change the cover of our gallery. It's called white image and if we exit the activity setting then you can see how the cover of our gallery looks now. Let's change it to our game cover. You can see that the cover has changed too. Now let's change the name and cover of our second photo gallery. Great, let's do the same procedure for photo gallery number three. We save our changes and now we start adding our content to the application. First, we need to remove the content of the template. After that, we add our content. Click create. Our application is now ready. If we go to the gallery, then you can see a lot of pictures that we have added. Now we just need to build our application and see how it looks live. And here is our beautiful app. As you can see, creating applications with Andromo is not difficult at all. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn how to set up monetization in your application, add it to Google Play, as well as how to promote it. See you later. Bye-bye.